Good afternoon, my people. Thank you for coming back to another Tony Montana video. Here we are working, working with uh, my dog, my little friend, uh, Copy. Captain, say hello to my little friends. All right, uh, and here we are also with a subscriber and, and, and a now new friend. Uh, he he wanted to ask some questions, so I'm like, oh, the questions were, you know, uh, justified and very uh, good. So I said, hey, let's come here and let's give a, do a little walk and a little talk. Walk and talk with Tony. So here we are again. It's a, it's a cloudy night, afternoon, but we are here. Uh, trying to get uh, give some information to to the public and again. Thank you for uh, Deciding to come along and asking the questions that some, a lot of people may be wondering So go ahead if you want to ask the first question So The first question I had was uh What is the state of the American Pitbull Terrier and is the dog headed in the right direction? Okay, so and mind you, I have not read the, the, the questions. I do know a couple of questions he asked. Uh, and I, that's when I stopped him and asked him to, to just write them down. And, and it looks like we're going to have to hold on a little bit for me to answer. Because there's a little dog coming that way. And, and this is part of being a good dog uh, owner. That you have to be careful. Be ultra aware. So the question is, uh, how do I feel the the state of the uh, breed is, is now and where is it going i'm gonna hold my dog here for a second go ahead ma'am no oh you're going that way and well and again we just gotta we just wait because they're also little kids come on come on come on let's go let's go and he uh, let's go and he's like he won't do anything to a, a person but Again, it, uh, he does see dogs and he does react. So how, what's the state of, of the American People Terrier today? Well, that's a good question. I really, it, uh, it's complex because it really depends on uh, uh, we're talking about the United States, are we talking Latin America, are we talking about the uh, Europe, Asia? Well, if, if we concentrate on the uh, United States, United States right now, it is in, it, it is in a state of... Uh, need for new, good people to get into the dogs uh, but people that are for the dogs not for themselves not for people that just want to have uh, or just want to uh, looking for money looking to breed for for the heck of it and are respectful of the breed uh, there's a lot of uh, misinformation out there of uh, people of the media of uneducated uh, non-dog owner people that follow whatever the media is saying as gospel and then they uh, they don't want to listen to anything from anyone that has the breed so uh, the only way to, to combat that ignorance is by having good owners doing good things with these dogs and understanding and respecting the nature of the dog but some people are good people and feel oh it's about how how you raise them you know and a, a big chunk of it is not a big chunk of it is genetics and uh, you respect them to breed and respecting their history is not trying to breed that out of them just respecting and being careful with those you know those things like a German Shepherd dog or a Rottweiler or a Doberman Pinscher those are the animals where are being used for many years at, in protection so you need to be careful that you know when you're walking with a dog that's bred for protection, that it doesn't protect uh, with, uh, without the need for it. Because some of them have to be trained to know the difference. Right. What do you think about um, uh, dog men staying away from social media because of the stigma behind the dog? Isn't social media a tool to get information out there and, uh, you know, like uh, clear out a lot of the bad stuff that people have to say about the breed? Well, yes. Yes, absolutely. But there is different... Uh, there are people that are true dogmen because that word dog, dogmen is really abused. Too many people using it. Most people that consider themselves dogmen are not really dogmen. There are, uh, there are, lab there are new labels for this. Uh, doggers or bulldoggers are, are two new, fairly new labels uh, that uh, people can use to, identi to identify themselves because the difference between a, a bulldogger 
and uh, dogman is like, uh, and, and I'm talking about the highest points of each, is like a teacher versus a university professor. Right. You know, so we have to respect that type of thing. We have to make sure that, uh, uh, you know, but going back to your question, uh, there are some people that have been in the dogs for a long time, so they are, you know, they are being careful. They, they're careful because they're being, uh, because there's, their names are in the uh, history books. Their names are, are part of uh, many of the dogs that we follow. They're being hunted. So anything they say will be used against them in any po way possible. So those individuals, I understand. I understand why they don't want to uh, freely, openly start talking about the breed. That, is, that, that happens, you know, you, you, you're helping the public, you're helping the new people. A lot of times, if you're doing it in an open environment that anyone, even the enemy of the breed, can listen to, right. you, you wait until you retire. You're done with dogs, you're, meaning you, may, you might not have any a yard of dogs anymore. May not be bringing dogs anymore. There's a dog coming up there. A little dog. Oh, good, good, good. Yeah. So. Uh, another question would be on. Um, hold, hold, hold a second, because we have to take care of that dog. Hey, hey, hey. Cuidado, ¿me puede levantar, por favor? Gracias. Oh. And again, that, that actually pick, picking up the dog helps a lot. Especially if the, if the, dog, the, the uh, aggressive dog hasn't seen them, they become in, invisible many times. Because yeah. the dog is looking at, at their point of view from that angle, and it's not looking up. You know, so that uh, by itself a lot of times saves little dogs, just in case people out there are, you know, because he smells something, and now he's a little tired, so that, that's an, also a good thing. So what, what is your other question? Uh, can... Uh, gameness be tested through other like people say oh you can test gameness through weight pulling I feel like that's a myth because the dog needs to be under certain stress what do you think about those people that want to take the breed in a different direction and then say they're testing for gameness okay that, to me that two questions uh, so how, uh, the first question was what how do you oh what was the first question again the first question is uh, can gameness be tested through other types of things like weight pulling okay or, uh, so gameness, if you look at gameness, the so true uh, gameness, there are two things, two ways uh, uh, you, you can uh, prove that they're not game. There's two ways. The dog, what's called a cur out or curs out uh, in two different ways. The main one is, and I'm getting, I'm, we're talking about historical uh, references. Uh, uh, the first one was fatigue. The dog gets tired and decides, this is it, I'm done. So, you, there's different ways oh, you can uh, test for that. Put them in, in stressful, fatigue level situations and see how that dog reacts to it. Will it, even, will it con try to continue its way? Well, yeah. let's, uh, let's wait for a bit, let, let him get, get his air. Let's, he's sounding a little... Come on, let's cross the street. So, fatigue can be can be tested, and uh, most of the most of the dogs will show that they'll stop. Let's just stop here for a second, and then the other way the dog curs out is by injury. Even though that is a, a lesser uh, dogs can stand pain a lot more than fatigue. So the main one is, is fatigue, but when Injury, you could you can test it through, uh, especially in some states, you can do uh, hog catching. And in some other countries, that you could put a, a big hog on, on a on a on a pit bull and and see if if uh, when he feels the bigger animal uh, controlling it. Obviously, the, the dog will have uh, protection like neck and, and and chest protection, so he wasn't he wouldn't be cut up and. Obviously, the hog or the big pig would not have the tusk to pre prevent that from happening. But then again, that is another kind of way of indirectly testing gameness by test to by making trying to make the dog curl out in legal ways.
Right. What was the second one? Um, the the weight pulling and stuff like that. Weight, well, mm, weight pulling to me really doesn't really uh, test I mean, fatigue. Yeah. It doesn't uh, test uh, injury. Right. So I, it, it it really doesn't uh, really qualify for me uh, uh, for that for for any of the two things that I just mentioned. It's a great exercise, it's a great uh, workout, it's a great uh, sport, but it doesn't really qualify for, for that. They're looking for strength, and it, it's just a couple of meters. It is, a, you know, it takes, it doesn't take uh, a long for, for, for that activity from beginning to end, so. When is the right age to start conditioning your dog? How come you don't use the fur pull, you just walk them. Is, is there a reason why you don't use the fur pull? Okay, good. First, you, you, you give me a couple of questions at once. <laughs> so the, the first, how old? Well, you can start walking the, the, the puppies uh, uh, so they can get, get their path become, get conditioned to the, specific, especially concrete. Concrete, you know, you, a dog has to gain that toughness in the pads little by little. So you, you begin doing that when you're able, because you know, you're, when they're like, uh, maybe depending on the where you are here in uh, the east, obviously there's times that there's too much uh, salt, and you don't want to you don't want to have dogs walking on salt because that burns them. Yeah. But obviously, if you're walking on concrete, you have to teach them how to walk on the leash. Teach, that's all things, but you can start very early to do that. So, and then obviously never use weights on the puppy. Puppy to me could be up up to uh, a year and a half. Don't right. put any weights on the dog. Don't put any, don't make care of it. Just let him do whatever he does with their own weight. You know, so. Okay, so what is the other one? The front pole. Are you against using the front pole? Abs no, absolutely not. I'm not against that. I actually have one, but uh, I don't really use it because I would have to go and, I, I, I'm not doing that right now. You have to let them loose to use it? Uh, no, that's not necessarily. I could have a, like a, a longer rope, like right. I have here and do it that way. Come, come. But, uh... Si, yo también, yo también, pero nadie me dice. Ay, no, y por qué yo no? Injusta. You know, sometimes you gotta be, you know, very diplomatic when it comes to, because everybody, nobody wants to give me water, damn it. <laughs> you know? And they, he drinks before I, before he leaves the, 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 the house, but when he's working out, he's working out. Right. You know, so... But the people don't, don't understand that. I mean, look how beautiful those all look. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, some, like I said, it, it's not. Sometimes when you're working out, you really are like, you know, in pain. Right. Like, but you keep keep going. You you feel the burn and all that. It's not good. It's not better. It's, it's good. So anyway, the floor pro is it's fine. You just gotta be careful because again, there's a lot of stigma behind that. Oh, we're gonna have to figure out something out here. Oh, he's tired, so. Oh, he's. A, I already see him being, being aggressive. Come on. Come on, boy. I already see him being aggressive. Come on. He just. Oh, uh, he's still. He, see, I already see that little dog. Uh, but he. See. So I think we're gonna turn around because they think he's a, he's a. He's tired. Yeah, he, he seems like this is something again that you need to be a, aware when your dog sometimes has a bad day. This seems to be a bad day, even though now he's see he's having a bad day, but now he saw those dogs, so you know he goes back to pushing, even though he can't ba barely breathe now. But he he's seen them, so he's like. I think we're just gonna turn around. No, no, did you have another question? Or? Uh, what is the limit to how good these dogs can get, considering uh, how many dogs you've uh, handled and you've seen it? What is how? It's always about the better dog, but how good can the best dog be? Well, <laughs> it, it, it really becomes, uh, when the breed began, the, the advances, the evolution of the breed, let's go across the street because we're going to go back. The evolution of the breed was taking leaps and bounds because... It, it was, it was a new, brand new breed, and they were honing on the genetics. So there was a, a big 
big advancement, big improvements in the breed. So, uh, but now, uh, as time has passed, uh, we we honestly could be uh, at the peak of, of, of the breed, or we're perhaps not even in the middle. Perhaps he just, you know, because uh, Who knows, really? right. It, it, as long as you're doing, you know, what you're supposed to be doing to make sure that you have better dogs each each time. I mean, but I would think that. The, so you that think the, the dogs we have today is better than the dogs, like per se, in the '90s or back earlier when the when the breed was just. That, that's a cool question. If, if the dogs t today are better than the ones in the '90s before, absolutely not. Today. Unfortunately, there's a lot of. Uh, uh, now you think about when a breed was created uh, uh, to today, yes. But if we're looking at dogs in the '50s, for example, if it's '60s, uh, or maybe closer to '50s, '40s and '50s, and if you look to, uh, at the accounts, that a lot of them talk about three hours uh, dogs, three hour matches, and with with the, the the feeding that they had back then with the uh, conditioning, the belief system that they had back then. You know, back then, they believed that you needed to boil the water to to, to burn the fat of the water. Right. You know, and it, it's something they believed. They believed they get they gave fed uh, uh, low quality food as compared to today. But yet, those dogs seem to have done a lot more than the dogs today because they were being bred best to best. Now these from the nineties, from the eighties, or even before four seventies, eighties, nineties, and up and beyond, a lot of these guys, especially at the top level, and it doesn't have to be top level, start, started using chemicals, right. a lot of chemicals, and they became chemists. These individuals, these dog men, became chemists, and the dogs were performing uh, now with all these chemicals in them, and now it became about. Who is the better chemist? Who has the better uh, formula for the dogs? Because again, it became all about or more about the money than actually making better dogs. All right, and um, now that you talk about time, I think this is the last question um, for now, obviously, until we meet again. <laughs> okay. Um, you talk about time, right? Since you say most American Purple Terriers are, are curs, and there's different levels of gameness well how do you consider a cur dog these are um living beings like they have to give out sometimes so uh, what do you consider a cur dog well i, I don't I, I don't agree with the thought that there's le different levels of gameness i don't believe that i believe there's dogs that are game and there's the rest the rest are different levels of, of, of cur dog and yeah. again talking about historical uh, information here References. So there's people that talk about deep game dogs and then that game dogs. Uh, they, 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 they are just, that's just flowers and, and coloring. <laughs> you know, like some dogs are, have colors in the, the pets online to make them look more interesting. Blue, red, I don't know if you've seen that. Right, right. Let me stop here so I give them a break. Uh, well, to me, uh, uh, um, it, it's crazy. So, um, but, but, what, what was it that we were saying? We were talking about uh, some of them or roll cassette. Uh, um, the levels of... of levels. The so levels. the curry... So like I said, there's different levels of curry. There's a dog... Obviously, the, the first level, which is a dog that is cold, cold before being curry. A, right. a cold dog, a dog that will never start. The, the dog will never defend itself against a, a, a dog. That's it, the cold dog. It, 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 that's how they, it is. There's some dogs that are... are Aggressive. They see something. They are aggressive. They feel aggression back, and it's like, oh, this is not for me, and they stop. And it could be like a minute. That's, that's one curve. There's a dog that will probably do, um, you know, uh, in 15 minutes exactly, and it's like, oh no, no, this is not for me, I, and stops. Some of them, 40 longer and longer and longer. But there's there's a, a point that that's, that will stop. And I mean, because, which is a natural part of of, of, of the animal, of, of any animal. Right. But there, there are very few that, no matter what happens to them, they will body will just continue doing that. Right. They, 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 they the natural ability to uh, f flight is isn't there. That natural uh, uh, yearning of, of, of flight isn't there. Or survival isn't there. They just are doing a work that was, they were bred for, and they continue doing it.
like uh, almost like a robot. So that's why I say, like Dogman, title of a Dogman, uh, Gameness as well. Those are those are those are titles that are very uh, special. So they they shouldn't be uh, thrown around like you know, like like degrees or something. Right, it, they're, right. they're very special. So yeah. So that's that really is uh, my answer on that. Let's, I think that's it for today. Tony. Okay, so I appreciate you uh, asking these questions. Um, I hope that you guys in on YouTube land enjoy the uh, conversation we had. We actually had a conversation, peace conversation before that, uh, but you know, I guess we didn't record it. But it's already 20 minutes, so we are going to leave it at that. So this is Tony Montana. Until next time.